Hey guys, John Conley from UncleJohnSoap.com and uh, today I want to, sorry it's been so long since I've done a video, it's been a crazy, crazy week or so, and uh, which is good, I'll take it, I like being busy, so I appreciate all that from you guys, but today I want to talk about shave soap specifically, our shave soap. I did a video a few weeks ago talking about adding butters into shave soap. Cocoa butter, cocoa butter, shea butter, avocado butter, whatever. I didn't really put it down. I, I didn't see it. I don't see that it hurts, or I didn't at the time see that it hurts putting butters into your shave soaps or bath soaps. But um, I also said that I didn't see that there was a huge benefit to it either. Now, I mentioned price point a couple times. And for most small producers, you know, people doing craft shows, farm markets, things like that, where they're, they're only able to buy so much quantity at a time, there is a savings if you go with other fats to get your steric acid content, your natural steric acid content up. I add straight steric acid to mine, which isn't always cheap. I mean, if you break it down, it's cheap, but you do have to buy a fairly decent volume. Um, large, same way, you gotta buy a decent volume. So, it all depends on how much you're able to buy at one time. The other part was skin benefits. I didn't really see much in the way, and, and I haven't used a ton of soaps, I didn't see much in the way of skin conditioning benefits or anything like that. And I, you know, maybe sometimes I'm just a little slow, who knows. But we went ahead and we had the opportunity to buy 25 pounds of raw, unrefined shea butter. I went ahead and did a test batch with our um, amber shave soap. We upped the percentage of that a little bit, replaced a little, like a certain percentage of other fats. We kept our same base recipe and basically just added raw, unrefined shea butter. And I will say, that I have seen a difference. I did a head shave yesterday, a live Facebook head shave on one of the shave groups with uh, with this soap, and I gotta tell you, it's it, there is a difference. I wouldn't call it magical, um, but if you can afford to buy in some kind of volume, then your price does come down closer to that of a box of, you know, tallow or lard or something similar. One of the other things that I noticed with some of the soaps that have coconut butter and shea butter and things like that, that you smell that butter in the soaps and that's a turn off to me. That mixed with whatever fragrance they use just does not work for me. So I wanted to keep the percentage at a moderate level so that because raw stuff you're going to smell way more than anything else. Uh, it hasn't been deodorized or anything like that. So. And I think if you're going to use it, you need to use the raw stuff so that you get more of the skin benefits. So let's do a quick test lather with this. You can see for yourself how the lather is. I think the lather is a little more dense. I think it might be a little slicker on the skin. And uh, the post shave feel might be a little bit better. I don't know that it's huge, but it's, it's an improvement. And I'm always looking to improve my stuff no matter what. And if I'm wrong, I'm mad enough to say I'm wrong. There is benefit to adding other butters to your soaps. I'll agree to that. Uh, not quite sold on some of the other stuff, but you know, hey, we learn stuff every day. If I stop learning, you might as well put me in the ground because I'm done. Same thing with our with our quality of our products. I love the quality of our products. It doesn't mean that I'm not always trying to improve the quality. Okay, I'm just using an inexpensive little synthetic brush, uh, probably like a 22-ish millimeter knot. Um, been a good knot for uh, beginners. Actually, it's good for anybody, but I like these for the beginners because I can get them and sell them relatively inexpensively, which is good for somebody starting out. Uh, it's a little scary when you're brand new to, to lay out, you know, $20, $30, $50 on a brush and not know what you're getting into. Plus, synthetics, I, in my opinion, are easier to start out with. Uh, it's just less learning curve, and they kind of do their own thing. So I'm loading off a two ounce puck, which is a little messier, but you'll get the idea. It's a little foamy to start when you're loading, but that's all I'm doing right now is just loading. But you can see how it comes up relatively quick.
Alright, that's long enough for what we're doing. I like to overload, but that's just because I like playing in the lather, so... That's why, I, that's another reason I started head shaving, because I like to, uh... I don't know. I like to shave, but we got the beard now, and it's our logo, and I like the beard. But I still get to shave now. Now, you can see, there's not a ton of lather coming up. Just kind of working it through the bristles. And it's a little, it's not dry, but it's a little sticky. It's a little tacky. Which is sort of like our other formula. But, I'm going to I'm gonna get a little water right in the palm of my hand, like a, like a lather bowl. I just kind of push the bristles down into that. And then you can see a little more lather coming up. So, my stuff's kind of thirsty. The old and the new recipe. Which is, I like it. I like to be able to adjust the water wherever I want it. And that wasn't a long load, so I mean, there's still enough in here to do three passes on my face if I was to shave my face. Maybe, maybe three on my head. I would load a little bit longer for a head shave. Again, I'm going to put some right in the brush. So that was a little too much, but it'll come back around. If I keep working it, this would be a lot neater in a bowl, but I don't really have a decent bowl here right now. Although I do have Alfred Wayman's bowls. I probably should have done that. Oh well. And you can see it just keeps on coming. So let's leave that lather there. Let's start on the other side. I'm gonna just a little bit more water in the brush. Something about you know the knot I have at home paints a little bit better. This tends to scrape a little bit of soap off. I mean, it's it's plenty slick, and I think it's plenty cushion for me, but this knot can be a little weird, but I like it. And I, I'll tell you, it is slicker. I can tell you that. I'm, I'm pleased, I gotta say. So, to Douglas and uh, Douglas Smy, the PAA, and a few other of you guys, uh, Sean Land, I will say that I am, I am pleased with this formula. I, I'm happy with the way it turned out, and uh, yeah. I think you guys will like it too. So this will probably turn into our standard formula at some point. And uh, for a little while you'll be able to get the just regular tallow recipe. Like I said, the only thing different about this one is the addition of shea butter. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that makes sense. And I appreciate everybody's patience with me that kept telling me shea butter or any butters were good in soap and I guess I was kind of a naysayer about it but you know again I'm always learning something and I'm willing to try it I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say stuff and then not eventually at least try it myself just to find out what the deal is so you know I can be a little hard-headed but not impossible all right guys Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. You can shoot me an email at unclejohnsoap at gmail.com. And uh, have a great afternoon.